Hello everyone, my name is Kevin from KJD Electronics and I'm here for a one-stop programming video for absolute beginners on Python. Today we're going to start from square one, downloading and installing Python as well as downloading and installing the PyCharm IDE by JetBrains. So to start off, we're going to download Python 3.6.1. Uh, if this video is watching you know, down the line, feel free to download the most recent version of Python 3. So we're going to click the download links. All the links will be in the description for your convenience. So we're going to run the installer here. And two things to note on this page, we're not just going to run and run around and click install now. we got some stuff to do. So we got to make sure we click add Python 3.6 to path. That's going to make our lives a lot easier down the line when we're trying to run applications from the command line. And then we're going to click customize installation. Everything should be checked off on this first page. We're going to click next. And then we're also going to click off download debugging symbols. That will make debugging applications uh, a little bit more in depth. Then we can go ahead and click install. And we're going to allow the user access control. And we're going to install Python 3. All right, great. Now that that's done, we are going to close the installer. And we're going to head over to JetBrain's website to download PyCharm. So we want the community edition for PyCharm. So we're going to click download. And our download is going to start down here. It might take a little while. And I do not want to send my files to Microsoft. All right, so when that finishes downloading, we're going to run the installer. Accept user access control. And this one, we can just pretty much put on autopilot and let install. All right, now that that's done, we're going to click Run and Finish. We don't need Chrome anymore, so we can close that. All right, so when it starts up for the first time, we are going to want to change the theme to Dracula. And we're going to want to change the colors and fonts to Dracula as well. And that will give us, this is a total preference thing, but I really like the darker themed IDEs. So we're going to click OK. It's going to ask us to relaunch if you change the theme. So that's OK. We can do that. Start back up. All right, so now before we create a new project, we're going to go to Configure, Settings. And then in the search bar, we're going to type Python interpreter. Or actually, we're just going to type interpreter. Yeah, here we go. Python or project interpreter. And it should automatically show you the path to your Python exe. You're going to click that. You know, so that we get pip and set up tools as well. We're going to click apply. And we're going to click OK. It's going to reconfigure and upload, or you know, rather configure itself with the Python executable. And now we're all set to create a new project. We're going to call it Hello World to be classic. We're going to click Create. We can go ahead and click yes on the prompt to import the directory. It's going to create our project. We can read through some nice tips, but I'll leave you to that. All right, so now we got our main.py, and you know we got hello world here. I think this automatically populated for me because I had already done this project. So we're going to delete. We can go to new Python file. We're going to name it main.py. That's the kind of standard name for an entry point to an application, especially if it doesn't have a good name like hello world. We could have named it hello world.py. You're also free to do that. So in Python, if we want to print something in the console, all we got to do is say print. We got an open parenthesis. PyCharm will automatically add a closing parenthesis. We're going to open quote. It adds the closing quote. We're going to click or type rather, hello world, 
and we're going to give it three exclamation points because we're really excited about it. I'm going to hit a control S to save the file. We're going to go up to run. We're going to run main. And then down here in the bottom, we see that we got a nice hello world. So that's it. We now have Python up and running in the excellent uh, PyCharm IDE, which I will show you through the next videos how awesome this IDE is. And if you're coming from my previous Python videos, you're going to be really excited to see how much easier it is to develop. Yes, easier than it was before. So, all right, that only took me eight minutes of real time. So after I cut out the install time, it's probably around six minutes that it takes to get Python up and running. So anything that quick and easy and elegant is a really powerful programming language. And that's one of the reasons that it's becoming so popular is it's really easy to learn. It's really easy to set up and run. And it allows you to do a lot of stuff really quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Kevin from KJD Electronics and One Stop Programming, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.